If you're like me and many investors, you've never really had any interest to be in the United States treasuries. Even though I started investing in 1997, I got started in growth stocks. And by the time I started paying attention to yield, there basically wasn't any. After the great financial crisis in 2008, the Federal Reserve dramatically lowered interest rates in order to spur business growth. However, this means the yield on U.S. treasuries isn't really worth having, or at least it hasn't been until the last year. And you might be thinking about buying treasuries, but how exactly do you go about doing it? If you have an account with one of the major brokers like Charles Schwab or Fidelity, you'll have access to treasuries. However, if you're with Robinhood, you won't. The way you find the U.S. Treasury market on the Schwab platform is actually quite easy. You just go up to the trade drop-down menu and you go to bonds. That'll bring up this screen where you can see that there are both CDs as well as bonds that you have access to. And in addition to all the different corporate bonds that you could buy, you can see the U.S. Treasuries starting at the three-month yield and going all the way out to the 30-year yield. When buying Treasuries, you have to buy a minimum of $1,000. So if you have a lot of money on the sidelines, you might consider buying a spread or a ladder of Treasuries with different duration types. For example, in my portfolio, I actually buy several different three-month Treasuries in a rolling basis. So each month, some money is being liquidated, and then I can choose whether or not I want to buy more treasuries or even a longer duration. Once you've decided on what duration you want, whether it's three months or all the way out to 30 years, in order to buy it, all you have to do is click the link that corresponds with that duration. In this case, we're clicking the three month at 5.49%. I know this is going to sound incredibly basic, but it's worth remembering that the yield that is listed is for the annual yield. For example, if you take a look at a three month U.S. treasury with a 5.49% annual yield, you'll actually receive 1.373 percent over the three months that you're holding it. When you click the link that corresponds with the treasury that you want, you can see that you get a list of different treasuries that are available for purchase. Since you're not buying the treasury at its issuance date, you're buying it from another seller who's choosing to sell it now. Schwab organizes treasuries in terms of what the best deal is in terms of yield and duration. You can see that this three-month treasury expires on January 16th of 2024. When you move over, you can see that this seller is selling a total of 25, and you only need to buy one as a minimum. When you work your way down, you can see that there are other treasury sellers out there. For example, this one's selling a thousand treasuries, but you need to buy all 1,000 in one order. They're not accepting any smaller order than that. You can also see the yield to maturity all the way down for each one of the different sellers that are available. And when you find the one that you want to buy, you just click the buy button here. This brings up the order form that shows you what the current quoted price is. For those of us who are used to a savings account where you put your money in and it earns interest over time, this might look a little funny. But the way that shorter dated treasuries work is you buy them at $1,000 minus the interest that you will earn over the duration of that treasury. Since this is a three month treasury, over the three months, will earn about $12. So the actual cost of this treasury is $984.47. Schwab defaults to a limit order. So you just put in the number of thousands that you want to buy. For example, if you put in one, that means you're buying $1,000 worth of treasuries. If you put in 25, that's 25,000. So make sure if you put in 100 that you actually want $100,000 worth of the three month treasury. If you just go by the default, it will almost always fill immediately. Schwab defaults to a limit order price and what's called filler kill, which means that order is put out on the market and it is either immediately accepted or canceled immediately. When you're ready, you just click review order and then place order, and then you'll own a treasury. Some new treasury investors might be hearing the headlines about how treasuries are crashing. In other words, the price of the treasury is going down and therefore the yield is going up and that might make you nervous. However, unlike stocks, treasuries will be worth whatever you put in by the end of the duration. In other words, if you buy a treasury with a three month duration, at the end of three months, it will be worth $1,000, even if yields have skyrocketed because treasuries have sold off. You only need to be concerned about losing money if you choose to sell the treasury in advance of the duration and the yields have gone up. For example, if you bought a 10 year treasury with a 4% yield and it's currently at 4.67%, you won't get your full thousand dollars back if you sell today. If this helped you out, please hit like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.